Hey Waffle Gang, I do hope you're well. My name is Mark and today we're checking out some more Reddit stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider in that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. And let's crack on with today's first story. And before we get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to Kai, who kindly got in contact with me and gave today's background for YouTube. Sorry if you're on the podcast, you won't be able to see it. <laughs> But I just absolutely love it. I think it's amazing. So thank you so much once again, Kai. And let's get started with today's story. The story is from Anxious Breath 1596 and says, My brother-in-law just told my wife he's in love with her. Anyway, yesterday, my brother-in-law out of the blue asks my wife if she can meet him for lunch. There is something he needs to talk to her about. My wife tells me about it before accepting and, and asks if it might have something to do with my sister. Maybe they're having problems and he wants to discuss with another woman. I find it odd, but I tell her to go and find out. So she accepts and they meet for lunch at a place near her office the next day. That's where he tells her that he is in love with her. He lays it on thick, how beautiful she is, how she makes him feel, how he would treat her if she were his, how it was love at first sight, blah, blah, blah. Mind you, this man is married to my sister and has two kids. He and my wife had a friendly relationship. Our families see each other often as we are a close family. He does text her frequently, but there was nothing overly sexual. My brother-in-law texts and calls my mum too, so none of us thought anything of it. I want to stop a moment and emphasize that my wife isn't cheating on me with him. My wife and I share an iPad and I see every one of her texts from there. We are also looking at each other's phones all the time, so none of that is going on. So she doesn't let him finish, walks out and calls me immediately to tell me what happened. While she's on the phone with me, the texts from him start. He didn't mean it. He thinks it's only infatuation, blah, blah, blah. She leaves work early to come home to talk to me about this and her phone is blowing up the entire time with calls and texts from him. I tell her to answer and she put him on speaker so I can hear. He's crying, begging not to tell my sister. Apparently, when we were together this past weekend, he thought that she was flirting with him and that he thought they had a moment when they were alone in our kitchen. Now my wife is a major ball buster, and I suppose I can see how that can be taken as flirting. He asks if she told me, to which I answer yes, as I am on speaker. Then he starts begging me. This went on a while. My main question was whether he had cheated on my sister before. He had said no. Swore on his kids' lives. It's just my wife. He said I should understand. So... I'm done listening at that point and told him I wasn't going to do anything tonight and I would call him tomorrow. That's where we are right now and I really don't know what to do. My wife says drive over there right now and tell my sister but the idea of wrecking my sister's family is killing me. Thinking about what it will do to my nieces makes me want to vomit. I know the right thing to do is tell my sister but I'm also thinking about my wife as well. It's not her fault but there is sure to be resentment towards her from my family. Even if my sister doesn't divorce him and they reconcile, I can't see how we are ever together again like we were before, if at all. This whole episode can tear my family apart. I don't give a shit about him. He tried to destroy my family, but I do care about everyone else. I don't know what to do. Any advice will help. Ouch. Now, I totally understand where you're coming from and your worries and your anxiety about, you know, your sister's family being torn apart like that. But I think the thing to remember in all of this is that he's caused this. He's the one who was willing to destroy his family. He was the one that was going to tear it apart, break his kids and his wife's heart. If your wife was to say yes, and your heart and your family too. He was willing to destroy all your lives for himself. We all know he's only backtracking now because that wasn't accepted. And I really can't see any alternative here but to tell your sister... The alternative would be to let them carry on thinking their life is perfectly happy when in fact it's not. He was willing to destroy everything. And would you want your sister to live a lie? Because I'm sure that you don't want that either. But I think you need to go into this knowing that you've done nothing. You've been put in a really shitty situation. But we're starting the comments with Tien Wolf who says, Man, you have to tell her. What happens if and when she finds out you didn't tell her? External reply saying this is unfortunately so important to consider. 
A while from now, the brother-in-law feels guilty or thinks his wife is going to be told, and bam, you are the worst brother in the world. May or may not happen, but you do have to consider it. They also think that your family gathering dynamic is going to be different from now on anyway. Your wife is going to have to be measured when talking to him. He's probably going to be acting weird too. Not sure if your family has the wine flowing at gatherings, but that's always a fun wild card and things are bubbling under the surface. As I write this, I'm thinking, your brother-in-law, besides being essentially a cheater hopeful, is such an arsehole. Look at all this crap you and your wife have to think about and ponder now, instead of just enjoying your evening. Next commenter says you are not wrecking her marriage. He is doing that. You'll be wrecking your relationship with your sister if you don't tell. And you should be the one to tell her. Your wife should not be involved in that conversation. You don't want her to be a target of your sister's anger. Go to your sister's house in the morning. Do not warn him. Be straightforward and bring snapshots of those texts he sent. Opie responds to that and says, I don't think my sister will be angry with my wife, but how do you not feel some form of resentment? He replies to that saying, totally fair. She might struggle with that, but this is the position he put you all in. If it were me, I'd try to help communicate to my sister that, hey, this is not a reflection of you or even my wife. He's clearly delusional and built some fake idea up in his head. She could be Heidi Klum and a selfish man will still find cause to stray. Hype her up. You can provide that support. Kalumi says, married 22 years. My sister is married to a cool guy whom I like a lot. If he pulled something like this, I'd 100% tell my sister immediately. Their marriage might be recoverable or it might not. There's no future for them without direct, honest and accountability. How your sister tonight? Also, you need to massively compliment your wife over and over. However, the rest of the family responds, she needs to feel your respect and love and your sorrow that he put her through this. And a final comment from CLB who says the fact that he thought there was a chance that your wife was going to leave you for him when it sounds like your marriage is fine shows that he is out of touch with reality. Even if she was being flirty, that wouldn't indicate she wanted to actually be with him. His behavior is likely a sign of deeper issues that he's dealing with. I would suggest that however you approach the situation, do it with a bit of concern and understanding. Remaining calm and framing it to your sister that you are concerned for his mental state and that no actual harm was done is probably the best approach. There's also likely problems in their marriage that you aren't aware of. So, Opie comes in with her first update and says, So, everyone told me last night that I couldn't wait to tell my sister was right. A little after 12 last night, I get a call from my sister and says that she has to tell me that my wife tried to begin an affair with her husband. So, he tried to pin it on her. I told her that's not the case and I'll be right over. So I get on the phone, wake my mother and father, tell them what's going on, wake my younger brother, tell him. My mum and dad head to my sisters to sit with their kids and my brother comes to our house to sit with us and my wife and I head over. My sister is out on the front porch with my brother-in-law when we get there. He looks beaten. He knows we have texts and voicemail. I really don't know what he was hoping to accomplish. My wife gives my sister her phone. She sees the texts listens to the voicemails, and he starts sobbing before she can say anything. My brother-in-law is a firefighter, a big tough guy, so this is a scene. My sister is pretty tough, so she tells him to stop it, pack a bag, and go. She can't stand to look at him. There's more begging, but she has no patience for it. So my sister walks off to talk with my wife. I see them hugging, so at least I feel like they're okay. They've actually been friends since college. I met my wife through my sister, so they are tight. The thought of this wrecking her friendship had been weighing on me. This leaves me with my brother-in-law. He's broken, so I feel more sympathy than anger. He says he's sorry, he just couldn't help it. It's not hard to fall in love with my wife, so I get it, but damn man. He eventually picks himself up and leaves. So we're there all night. My sister starts asking my wife why her husband would think any of this would work out. He had to have some reason to believe that she felt the same way. My sister says they hadn't been having problems. Everything was as it had always been. My wife is crying at this point and says, there's nothing you haven't seen. She gives my sister a phone again and they read every text ever sent over the past two years. Nothing there. My wife was just herself. She has a playful personality and so does my brother-in-law, so they tease each other. She does the same to my mom and younger brother as well. The only thing she could think of was the moment in the kitchen this past weekend he referenced. They both went for the fridge at the same time and 
They playfully jostled for who would get there first. He lets her win, but he reaches around her waist to get a beer slowly, and she did feel the way he did it was a little inappropriate. She says she should have called him on it, but didn't want to make it a big thing. She feels that maybe the fact that she didn't gave him hope. My sister doesn't blame us, but at least that's good. So then my sister starts going through his MacBook to see what else she doesn't know about. She's angry and frantic at this point. She guesses the password, starts searching and finds a lot of pictures on my wife on that computer. They went back years and always isolated on just her. We'd gone as a couple to the Caribbean a few years earlier. My wife wore a bikini. She usually doesn't, but since it was adults only, she did. There were probably 50 of her in that bathing suit, so he's been secretly been snapping these for years. Does this now enter restraining order territory? This has taken a creepy turn. I'll update when I have more. Now, as always, I don't know the legalities of restraining orders and really how they work, but if it's a possible thing, then I would certainly consider it that he's got all these photos. It's, we're in stalking territory now, and the thought of him having all these photos, what he's doing with them, just gives me the ick. But a couple of relevant comments before we go to the next update. Someone says, the fact that you so casually said you wouldn't do anything tonight and you would call him tomorrow and not tell your sister ASAP is highly suspect. I can't imagine a situation where any man would want to have lunch with my wife alone to share something with her and I'd be okay with that. You really said wait until tomorrow after we profess their undying love to your wife. Something is afoot and there is more to this story you're not sharing. Opie says we are all pretty close. My sister and wife are college friends and we are family. I know this guy well and he's not a stranger. I just needed some time to process my whole life just changed. Yo-Yo says he does text her frequently but there was nothing overly sexual and says so since the constant text to your wife from your sister's husband were only a bit sexual you let it slide. Anyway I can't believe you didn't go straight to your sister's to tell her and beat his ass. OP says the text never crossed the line. I see all of them and he knows that. We are family and never occurred to me or my wife that things could take this turn. Like I said, my wife is a ball buster and she treated him like a brother, like family. Opie's next update says, I've shared with my wife many of your comments. It makes her feel better that virtually everyone here holds her blameless. It makes her feel better, so thank you. Unfortunately, the mess continues. My sister agreed to talk to her husband last night and let him explain. She put my wife on FaceTime during this conversation, so there will be no lying. I'm listening in as well off camera. My sister is also recording the whole thing. He admits he's been obsessed with my wife for years. It started the day he met her. My wife and I were dating at the time, but he met my wife before he met me. Like I said, my wife and sister are longtime friends and my sister wanted to introduce her boyfriend to her friends. He thought it was only physical for a while, but over time, he knew it was more. My sister nearly kicks him out right there, but listens a little more and she eventually asks what made him think that my wife would leave would leave me for him. He answers that there is obviously mutual attraction and he figured it would begin as an affair and then things would progress from there. My wife and sister explode at that point. A lot of cussing, a lot of screaming. Phone call is over. My wife hangs up at this point and she is concerned for me. She's shaken and distraught, assured me that the attraction was one-sided. I never thought it wasn't. Even if she did find him physically attractive, I know she would never act on it. She's just not the type. Early on in our relationship, she caught me admiring her as she was dressing. Asked if I liked what I saw before her face turned cold and told me to never fuck up or I'd never see it again. She meant it. She's serious about trust. Anyway, I knew my brother-in-law was a little cocky, but my God, I never knew he thought that highly of himself to be able to pull off something like this. I talked to my sister later on and she's contacting the lawyer Monday to see what steps she can take to limit his exposure to her kids. As far as she is concerned, he is detached from reality. That's all I have for now. I'll update once the dust settles a bit. Pauline says to that, my wife and I were talking about this and that's what we thought. We wanted to start an affair and then go from there. And says, there's no way to recover from asking your sister-in-law to have an affair if the feeling isn't mutual. You've torched everything. Incredibly high risk gambit with a low success potential. But he would have done this sooner or later, with or without the kitchen incident. Opie says he has made comments to me many times throughout the years that my wife was out of my league. I would just laugh and agree she is. 
I guess he thought his gamble was not so high risk. But OP comes in with what they title their final update. It says, this is likely to be my final update as I don't see much more happening after this besides divorce proceedings. Thanks for all the comments. They have helped my wife with some of the guilt. Anyway, my brother-in-law returned home yesterday. Not because my sister wants him back, but because she can't legally stop him. They are done. I think he realizes that now. The lawyer tells my sister that since my brother-in-law's behavior over the past few days has been documented, there's a good chance she'll be granted full custody. He doesn't seem to even want to fight her on that. My sister will be fine. Any love she had for him is gone and she doesn't seem to be broken up about it. The kids don't know what happened yet, but my brother-in-law was never around much anyway when the kids were home. He slept at the fire station many nights and put in a lot of overtime. But it is certain to be hard on them once they know what's going to happen. Many commenters have said that there must be more women, but as far as we can tell, there hasn't been. It's really just the obsession with my wife. She has blocked his phone, but on the same night he returned home, he sends my wife an email from an account he just made. It started with an apology, but then took a turn. He said he never got to finish at the restaurant that day. Then he went on for paragraphs and paragraphs about all the things he loves about my wife and the desperation he felt that led him to do what he did. He mentioned their mutual attraction again and the sexual tension that he always felt was between them and ended with a large section about me. Let's just say, I didn't know he had such a low opinion of me. He was quite certain that I was not satisfying my wife properly. Anyway, we sent the email to my sister and it will go to the lawyer. It might be enough to get him removed from the house. Finally, my wife isn't great, but she is doing better every day. She does blame herself for being too comfortable around my brother-in-law. She's always careful to set boundaries with other men. In case you haven't figured it out already, my wife is pretty stunning and gets a lot of male attention. But with my brother-in-law, she felt safe to be herself since he was family. Surely, no lines would be crossed. She and my sister are cool, and there doesn't seem to be any resentment, so that makes me happy. We will all be okay, it will just take time. Thanks to all who commented and voiced their support. And a couple of comments after that one. Any decision says what a bomb he threw in to blow everything up. Please take steps to secure your home and car. Recommend a restraining order so he can't come around trying to explain or convince or apologize to your wife. Hoping your sister can do what needs to be done and can move on to a better life. Opie says I don't think my brother-in-law is dangerous, just conceited. The guy was quite the ladies man before getting married and still got plenty of attention even after. His ego is bruised but I do have cameras and an alarm. PH says thank you for sharing this sad story. It has been helpful for me. My wife has been casually pursued by a married member of my club and she is usually too surprised and modest to assume what he's after. When he first started, my wife thought it was just harmless banter. But I didn't and told her I didn't think so. As it continued, she finally realized I was right when I had to tell him to knock it off, she was relieved. It took three incidents for him to finally get the message. Opie says, my wife is mad at herself because she's usually so careful. She had so many incidents when she was younger with guys she was friendly to that ended up making unwanted advances. Now, Opie called that their final update and they don't think anything else is going to happen. I'm kind of thinking, oh, I don't think he's just going to let that slide. The fact that he's willing to send a, a paragraph after paragraph email still talking about what happened before and, and putting down OP in that email says to me that he's still trying. He's still holding on to some kind of hope. But again, I don't know the legalities around it, but I would certainly be looking into that restraining order because that behavior is really concerning. But what do you guys make of this? situation let me know your thoughts down in the comments below now just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories your love your support your time always means the absolute world to me so thank you so so much and hopefully i will see you in the next one take care and much love